Okay, fat actually we can separate by two types. Okay, one we call it as a okay, so we got two types of the fat. One is the animal one, another one should be from the plant fats. Okay, so this all thing they also contain about the fats. Okay, we cannot say fat is a good uh, there's a worst thing in your body. Actually, our body they also need the fats. Okay, just the quantity they got some of the limited. Don't be over. Okay, then we go through to the next. Okay, let's see some characteristics for the fats. Huh? Okay, fats they consist into two states. One we call it as a solid. Okay, another one should be the liquid. Okay, you can see the diagram lah. Okay, the left hand side they want the meat. They want we call it as a solid fat. Okay, another one should be the right hand side from the palm oil. They want is a liquid. Okay, fat. Okay, solid fat at the room temperature usually they originated from the animal fat. Okay, example we got chicken, cow, goat, uh, and the fish and etc. Because so many of the animal they also got fats. Okay, fats in the liquid normally we call it as a oil. Okay, as a oil. So oil normally they originate from the plants. Okay, the plants were not so complex one. So from here, for example, we produce the oil should be the palm oil, coconut oil, and also the soya bean oil. So this one a little bit simpler compared to the uh, the the animal fats. Okay, then we go to see the fats can be separate to the two types. One we call saturated fats. Another one should be the unsaturated fats. Okay, let's see the similarity for these two fats. Huh? Okay, both also contain carbon, hydrogen, and also oxygen. Okay, they do not dissolve in the water. Then you know lah, the fat, any oil there. Cannot be dissolved into the water. Important source of the fatty acid in the body. That's a one of the source. Okay, in your body, they need the fats. Okay, I don't care you are saturated fats or unsaturated fats. Our body, they also need one. Okay, now we're going to see what is the differences. Just now, it's a similarity. Now, we're going to see what's the differences. Okay, differences. First one, the source. That's a different. Saturated is from the animals, unsaturated is from the plants. So we can say saturated fat, that's normally the solid fat. Lah. Then the unsaturated, that should be the liquid oil. Okay, then the state at the room temperature. In the room temperature should be solid, then room temperature should be the liquid. Okay, how about the melting point? Melting point for the saturated must be high because you are liquid, solid. Is it? Solid, that means you need to take more time to make it become melt okay how about the uh the unsaturated let me from the plant one they just low melting point faster they can be melt already okay let me in your body you want to melt the unsaturated fat that's easier compared to the saturated fat okay number of hydrogen atom in the molecule okay saturated the hydrogen should be maximum okay they got more of the hydrogen Okay, for the unsaturated, they're not maximum. That means you want to add the hydrogen, it's okay. They still can add. Okay, for additional hydrogen for the atom to molecule, this one is possible. That means you still can add the hydrogen, but saturated fat already is a full. Cannot add about the hydrogen. Okay, so from here, we continue to the next part. Important of the fats. Okay, first one, we know they can supply energy. Okay, if you got fats, okay, first one we know there's an insulator. Like if you cool weather, that means you feel uh, they can cover your body. That means your body do not feel too cold. So they act as a heat insulator in your body. Okay, number three, cholesterol. Not cholesterol is a bad one. Uh. You got good cholesterol also. Cholesterol that help to build the cell membrane. Okay, synthesizing of the bio. Okay, synthesizing of the bio means the humberdu. Humberdu, you know, is it? Humberdu inside got uh, the liquid. Uh, that means they help to create that liquid. Okay, after that, we got sex hormone, as well as to produce a vitamin D in the skin. That's uh, exposed to the sunlight. Okay, then they also help in absorption of the 
vitamin A, D, E, and also K in your body. So this one is the uh, important of the fats in our body. Okay, the sugar got important, but the quantity cannot over. Okay, so now we see over when you just effect of the eating food at the uh, containing or the excessive of the fats. That means you are take over and also over about the animal fat. Now you see what's the effect, huh? Okay, saturated fat will increase the level of the cholesterol in the blood and also affected our health. Okay, number two, example of the saturated fat from where? From the cheese, eggs, butter, and also the meat. Okay, meat, normally they're talking about the uh, the the chicken, maybe less, lah. the fish is less only. So that means important is the meat. Normally you go to uh, beef, lah, uh, pork, lah, that one is a high uh, saturated fat. So this one, they contain very high level of the cholesterol. Okay, so when you just excessive cholesterol in the blood, what can be affected for the human health? Okay, first one, they cause about the gallstone and also the jaundice. Okay, jaundice. Uh, so we're going to see the diagram first. This one called gallstone. That means in your gout, after that, they will collect all the stone and blocking at there. So after that, they will cause us about the jaundice. Jaundice, that means you can see the body, the face all become yellow color. Okay, so from here, they explain excessive of the cholesterol in the blood that can form about the gallstone, which block the bowel, uh, the bile duct. That means they block already, that means they cannot flow. Okay, they will feel pain. Then block the bowel, bile duct, they can cause about the jaundice. So they become like this. Okay, this one is a, one of the effect when the cholesterol, they become more. Okay, number two, I think this one everybody also know when the cholesterol just over. So you can see cholesterol disposed into the inner wall of the artery. This one is our artery, blood artery. So that means when starting, this one is a normal. You can see the size, uh, bigger size. Then the blood easy to flow because the lumen is bigger, is it? Okay, when the cholesterol just more, saturated fat that means they will collected all at the center of the lumen so you can find the lumen now become narrow okay when the blood they want to go through they will force to go through because the space becomes smaller so this one is a one of the thing that we cause about the blood cannot go to the uh go to your whole body so they will cause about stroke okay this one is a one of the affected. Huh? So from here, they say cholesterol that accumulate and also disposes onto the internal alternate, uh, artery wall. They causes the artery rumen to become narrow. Okay, after that, this one narrow artery that be disrupt or block flow of the blood in the condition. So this one condition we call what name? We call it as a arterial kerosis. Okay, about the cholesterol too much and they're blocking the blood. So this one, the the uh the diseases we call it as an arterial kerosis. Okay, so the arterial kerosis is can be caused by the hypertension or you say high blood pressure. Okay, first one they will cause about high blood pressures. Okay, they will cause about stroke. Okay, burst or you say block the artery reading to the brain. Okay, cannot up. Okay, after that, and also fatal heart attack okay this all is about the cholesterol they're blocking so you can see uh, this one is our artery the lumen they're already blocking by the uh, cholesterol the yellow color is a cholesterol so the blood when it just go through they force to go through if they just cannot go through that means you will feel about heart attack or you say stroke okay so this one is a one of the symptom huh? okay step to avoid Okay, step to avoid, I think you also know how to avoid. First one, you do the exercise law. Okay, number two, must control the food. Okay, reducing the intake of the saturated fat in our nutrition. Okay, number two is consuming the unsaturated fat. Okay, which can lower the cholesterol level in our blood. So that means we need to change la, our meal. Okay, uh, replace the saturated fat by using the unsaturated fat.
Okay, this one is an example how we go to reduce the uh, cholesterol in our body. Okay, so the lesson just until here for the fats that only the short lesson. So today, what you need to do, you need to complete today the uh, Google form. There's a 5.4 facts. Okay, some of the question. So every student just enter the lesson today must go to do uh, because I find it some students they enter class but they never go to solve the uh, Google form. Okay, Google form they got one of the code. Okay, the code so the student you can help to type into the chat room because some students they say they don't know. So if they don't know, they don't want to do already. Okay, so today lesson just until here. So the every student, you can go to do your Google form now. Okay, everyone, bye.